Hello and welcome to the updated version of Play With Six tutorial. I'm currently using a beta version of Play With Six, but it is very similar to the official released version. So to start off with, after you've in, uh, installed it, if you grab the installer or if you're just running it from the executable, I personally copied my executable to my desktop. I'm going to launch Play With Six by double clicking on the icon on the desktop. And while I wait for it to load, on my system it seems to take a little bit of time, but mainly because I have a lot of mods. As you can see, it loads up here, and there are a few differences now. So before where you had mod sets, now you have what are known as collections, and they're all right up in here. And as you can see, I have quite a few of them already selected. For example, I can click here for Ace Wasteland, and you can see all the mods and add-ons that are in this collection. And a collection is nothing different from being a mod set. They just call it something else. So in this case, we're going to create a new collection. Now I clicked New Collection here. And as you can see, collection number 46 shows up highlighted. Now right now, I'm going to type in Tutorial and press enter. Now I have a new collection called tutorial and it automatically shows up here on the left hand side which is the mod browser. Up here I'm going to select CBA. Now it automatically searches the online and local libraries for the community based add-ons. Since I'm just interested in CBA1 I'm going to click here it will show me everything that would be considered a dependency, but not necessarily in this case is a dependency. It can also be an optional. I can click show info to show more information about uh, the add-on. If I'm having issues with the add-on, I can click diagnose. But in this case, I'm going to click add to tutorial. And it's going to add it to this tutorial collection. So click here and it's been added to the tutorial collection. So if I click on tutorial here you can see community based add-ons. I'm going to go ahead and select Ace. Now as you can see there are quite a few additional add-ons here besides just Ace and these ones that you see that have no icon for them usually mean that they're locally loaded uh, or custom mod sets or collections. In this case I'm just going to select Ace Core and as you can see there are settings and if I click settings it shows up here and this is my settings <coughs> uh, panel that you would have with Ace Clippy. I can change it however I wish to at this point and then save it. So I'm going to click add to tutorial and since most of the time when you're using Ace, you're also going to end up using Ace X. I'm just going to select and add that as well. So now, I'll go back to Tutorial. And you'll see now there are three in here. Now, I haven't had to install anything because these are already downloaded. So, in the case where I'd have to actually install, so <coughs> install something, let's click here to close out of that and I'll open up Vietnam and as you can see there are two mods in here and it just says install so I'm going to click install now as you can see I gave it a little bit of time here and it is downloading is it about 27 percent and it says 27 percent and then 6 at and then the speed here. So if I click this little button here it actually shows me what's being downloaded and what's being finished. And it'll actually show you what's actually inside each add-on. 
So while this may seem a little odd right here, it's more or less an overall download. And this shows each individual file. <coughs> hmm. Now if for some reason you need to stop the download, you can click right here to abort, to abort the download and update process. And just going to click yes. Now it's going to take it a couple of minutes here to, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> and we're back where we were before. Okay, now I'm going to show you about local folders. So, I'm just going to close that. And I will, uh, reduce the collections. Actually, I'll show you local and online folders. So first off for online. So this shows me the different repositories that or repos that I've added. So I have survival operations, which is for Daisy Hardcore. And I have United Operations, which is for all the United Operations mods and maps. And I can click add repository and I can put in the add repo the repository URL, which is data ends in a .yml and then click add and it'll add it to the list. And six networks if I click on here you'll see all the different mods and mod sets and whatnot. And this one I click install because there isn't a collection right here. If I click install it'll create its own collection. Now local I have game folder so this is what's in <coughs> my actual Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder if you put your mods there that you manually download then I have my mo mod folder about 219 in there right now and my Arma mods folder <coughs> my Arma edit folder for custom mod sets that I've been putting together and then new mods and testing mods I've manually downloaded and want to test out now I can click add folder and it'll take me into my drive. You can currently see at the Arma mods and so on here. So if I wanted to, I could click um, Arma 3 development. And selecting folder. And it shows up here. And of course, there are no mods in there because I don't actually have anything. Now I can right click on it. And I can show an explorer, which will open up Explorer well, Windows Explorer window. Or uh, I'll just click remove local folder because there's nothing in it anyway. Now you have favorites. Now if you haven't noticed, if I say select a sound mod, I personally like JSRS. <coughs> if I click this little button right here, toggle favorite, right? Now, if I click here, it's going to show me all my favorites that I've listed. And then here are the featured mods. What uh, are new, updated, whatever is, is showing up is featured. Pretty much is how that works. Recent, all the ones that uh, I've recently used. And search, anything I've recently searched for. Now if I want to change, say, the, the version of the game I'm using, <coughs> I can click here and see all the games for Bohemia Interactive that I have installed. These are obviously not installed, so just do that. Now, I can install and launch Arma 3 through here as well. So, I'm going to double click on that. It's going to open up here. And here's my map pack. It's up to date. And it goes through the same process here. It's nothing new or special. <coughs> mm. Now, missions. This shows all the different missions that I have on my system. I could actually launch these if I wanted to. I could publish them, launch them, open it in the Explorer. There's my user folder. So here's the missions. Now here's the server browser. I'll just close that. <coughs> and it shows me all the missions that are playing for Arma 3. And I can launch them through here. I can also filter them to my heart's content over here. Pretty much anything. Just remove altus from the filter. 
and updates automatically. I can also favorite them. And then up here, I've logged in. I've got contacts. <coughs> and I don't think I have anyone in there. Nope. Okay. But I can do whatever I wish to here. Set up this way. I've got, uh, looks like I've got a friend somewhere here. I don't remember who that is, but under apps, I can actually add an application. Now, in this case, I've actually added uh, TeamSpeak. Mm, let's see. There we go, TeamSpeak. So I, I add TeamSpeak 3 to here, and whenever I launch, I can set it to auto start, right? Auto start multiplayer, single player, disabled, any, that kind of, kind of thing. So if I need to use, say, TeamSpeak 3, <clears throat> say for example, I have Arma 3 Acre or Arma 2 Acre, and since Acre requires TeamSpeak 3, and it requires to be launched as an admin, <coughs> I can set up so whenever I launch as multiplayer the game, it's going to launch TeamSpeak 3 as an admin whenever I launch multiplayer game. But since I'm not using that at the moment, I'm just going to remove the app. But it's going to do that every time I launch. There we go. Alright. And of course here's the home right here. It just shows news and any updates that have come out. And up here you can see the latest news. And under tools, you can check for updates, licenses about under settings here. You'll see a whole bunch of nice little settings that you can set up here. One of the ones I like to do is I like to receive beta updates. And I like to show the ping as number. And then I go under, oh, I also prefer Z-Sync, but I think that's by default. Under game settings, I can uh, select where my mod directories are. Basically where it looks for anything I've downloaded or wherever it's going to download and install things to. <coughs> I put those on a separate drive. My game directory is of course on a solid state drive and it shows exactly where that is. And it's showing it for this specific game. If I were to change this to Armor 2, it would update and show Armor 2. I can also do my setup parameters and any switches I so choose to. I like to use a Steam Launcher because if I want to take a screenshot, I just press F12. Now, I click Editor and I can change, so it launches specific mods. I can change the name in game. I like to use No Splash and Skip Intro. Window means it launches the game in windowed mode. CPU count, if you have a certain number of CPUs, change the number to an equal or less than numbers of available <coughs> cores. This will override auto detection. So if you have like a 6 core or an 8 core processor, you could set it to 8 cores. The EXC, the um, extension threads, uh, is for the level of multi threading. And then you have uh, memory allocation uh, programs you can use, and maximum amount of memory or virtual or uh, video memory. No file patching, no logs. If you want the world to be flat, everything, pretty much anything you can think of is here. And then there's also a uh, a wiki. They call it wiki, but it, it's it's a wiki. And then once you're done there, you just click back to game settings, and we're back at game settings here. And it updates automatically here, as you can see. I just click back and go to tool settings. I can log out here if I so choose to. I can also prioritize mirrors, sometimes that helps. And logs and configurations. This is to transform it so it can be a small screen here. So it just takes up a small section. Or I can go back to large. Anyway, I hope that has uh, helped you understand how to use the latest version of